was really kind of you to settle my B&B bill. Your family. Deep down, I'm sure it's what Munprit would have wanted. I doubt it. Uh, that's why I was staying at the B&B. I wanted to be somewhere close to her so I could start to try and put things right between us, but not so close that she thought I was crowding her. May I ask why you fell out in the first place? Oh, I don't want to bore you with a lot of ancient history. No, it will give me a chance to understand things a bit better if I knew. Um, it was a confused situation. I tried to explain, but Manpreet always makes me feel nervous. And she wouldn't listen. Because you always lie. Why didn't you take the hint yesterday and leave the village? Because I still want to make things right between us. Well, uh, there's no chance of that. Just hear her out, Manpreet. Give her a chance. Darling, if you knew what she'd done, you wouldn't ask that of me. And I don't understand why you brought her here. Well, she had nowhere else to go, and uh, there was a problem with the bill at the B&B. What sort of problem? Nothing for you to worry about. Rishi settled it all. There you go. You're always using someone else to sort out your mess. You want to know why I hate her? Well, you're right. It was a long time ago, but forgive me. You sort of don't forget when your sister sleeps with your husband. Maybe it's best to forget the past and concentrate on the future. After what she did to my marriage? I did it for you. Oh, please, you have to be joking. He'd been playing around behind your back for years. I tried to warn you, but you wouldn't listen. I knew you couldn't ignore it if you went with me. Oh, so you slept with him out of an act of kindness? At least admit you're better off without him. I did you a favour. You ruined my life! I was in such a state I started buying clothes, shoes, bags, anything to take my mind off the mess you left me in. That's what put me into debt. You can't blame her for that. I do. I do, Rishi. I always had to be the good girl. Working hard at school, university, and then at the surgery, and all it brought me was misery. All she cares about is men, money, and having a great life. You haven't even called me for years. You know nothing about my life, what I've been through. Well, that suits me fine. Newsflash, it hasn't been great. You want to know why I'm broke? My husband got the sack. So you lost your meal ticket and you ditched him? Wrong. I got a job at the local surgery to keep us going. <sighs> but instead of being grateful, he said it showed I didn't have any faith in him getting another job. I was really trying to help us through a difficult time. But I guess some men can't take it when the woman has to be the breadwinner. In the end, it wrecked our marriage. He walked out on me and I was broke and alone. That's why I came here. Yeah, to scrounge off me and my husband. That's a bit harsh, Manpreet. I'm telling you how it is. She's already got you paying her bills. Trust me, there's always a sob story. You've heard one, you've heard them all. I'm telling the truth. I didn't come for money. I came because... because I hoped my sister might care enough to help me through this. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint. But I don't want anything to do with you. Maybe it's time for a restart. Maybe it's time to show compassion. She's still your sister. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a sister. <laughs> <laughs>